It is April 19th. We're up here in beautiful Nisswa, Minnesota. I'm at my second family's cabin. Um, not blood, but you know, they treat me like blood. Great people, the Swansons. Um, so we're up here at the cabin getting ready for tomorrow. It's the first Bassmaster team event for Bass Nation Minnesota. They've never done one. Um, we voted on it last year at one of the meetings in Medina. And I'm glad it went through. It's gonna be fun. Um, I think it's gonna cap out at 50 boats. Or I think we're gonna be around that 30, 35 range. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, I didn't see as many people practicing as I thought they were gonna be out there this uh, weekend. But uh, it's gonna be for a good event. A lot of the good sticks came out uh, to show their colors. And uh, so we're out here. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, we're just rigging up right now here in the boat, um, trying to get a game plan, uh, strategize uh, what we're going to be doing. Uh, our first two days of practice were pretty pretty good. I don't want to say awesome, and I'm not going to say bad. Um, each day I averaged 14 pounds, literally right on right on the nose, 14. Um, bunch of three pounders. Today was uh, mediocre. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. It wasn't even good. You know, you get a nice 4-2 to start your day off. Came late, you know, around 10:30. But you know, a, a kicker like that can really save the day. Uh, we ended up putting uh, a bunch of a small limit together, right around 11 pounds at the end of the day. But again, I was doing a lot of scanning today. I was looking at fresh water. I wasn't hitting spots that I know I can pull, you know, an easy 12 pounds out of. But again, that's not going to win you anything up here on Gold Lake. You're going to need that 18 to 19, 20 pound bag uh, with these guys. Uh, 14, 15, 16, that's going to cut you a check for the top 10 here this weekend. So that's what kind of we're going at. Um, you know, some people will say that this is, would, is considered my home lake, so it's kind of upsetting. I, I've done a lot of events out here. I get a lot of, I do a, pretty decently in most of my practices out here. Come game day, you know, I just can't find those big ones. But uh, over the last, you know, couple practices coming up here this week, I, I feel that I can put something together where uh, we're going to put together a pretty nice limit. And uh, uh, hopefully it goes our way. That's that's the whole ticket because the first two days it was overcast. It was rainy on and off, isolated storms. We were kind of actually ditching the storms. We'd see some rain come in. We'd kind of drive south, kind of get dodge the rain for a little bit. But we saw the biggest bites come when the, the storm and the barometer was going up and the storm was rolling in. And that's when the fish kind of got active and started laying into it. And tomorrow is going to be sunny, high, you know, high sun, 81, mild wind, five to eight miles an hour. So that's it changes up the bite. That's what the the conditions were today, and it really kind of altered everything that we had going for us. But uh, so tomorrow I'm going to have to really change up presentation and speed and everything really hopefully get on a good morning bite. Hopefully it'll pan out, it all depends when we can leave, you know, if, the, or if we have a early departure or not. And right. um, just getting to the spot first because the spot that we want to fish, a lot of the other anglers are going to be probably heading right. I don't know, Dan's thinking maybe 30 boats or something like that, I guess it calls for 50. But, um, but yeah, maybe 30 will show up because there's another tournament, so. But yeah, man. Yeah. I will do that, buddy. All right. All right. Take it easy, man. Bye. Out of all these rods that are on my side with me, I got about 10 or 11 setups. I caught a fish on every single one, you know? So they're they're biting. They're You just got to put it in front of their face, and they're, they're going to make sure that they're going to do something with it. Um, basically, the two baits that were probably the key baits that did the most were half ounce pegged missile D-bomb. And uh, I would say the next one, well, this got the big one today, actually. This one would be the second most, but just a regular green pumpkin tube jig, half ounce with a little rattle inside, a little fat head uh, tube jig too. That caught the big one today. I know a lot of guys are gonna do something like that or, or a jig worm, pop it out of weeds. And then my famous, you know, lethal weapon, swim jig with the Arsenal tactical minnow on the back. Uh, this just crushes a lot of good three pounders, three and a quarters under docks and around some uh, vegetation, lily pads, that kind of stuff. This is kind of like my bread and butter along with this Cinco. I don't need to show you guys a Cinco worm. You guys all know what it is. But um, hopefully I'm going to throw that 10 inch worm to tomorrow too. 
Um, more and more people always kind of come in my boat and see me throw a 10-inch worm. They're like, wow, do you ever catch anything on it? I'm like, yeah, I actually catch a lot of small fish on it too. So a lot of, a lot of fish want to bite this thing, especially that tequila sunrise color. Um, some people consider it an old school bait still. So you don't see it around a lot, and I think a lot of fish don't see it as mu as often as either. So um, we're gonna we didn't get any bites on it in practice. I think I caught one little one the first day, but um, we're gonna see if like, it's gonna get a big bite tomorrow. And then uh, Ned rig, frog, chatter bait, punch rig, you know, and some deep pads, thick pads, some uh, deep milk well. That's what I was gonna do we're using the craw fatty three fourths ounce tungsten, arsenal tungsten. And that uh, that actually picked up two of our big fish today too, so we're, uh, if we can't get them on deep, we're gonna go punch some uh, thick stuff and hope to get some of those big girls out of those mats. Bring the dance. Here's our uh, bag for the day. We came up with 13.1 pounds. Yep, could have been better. Uh, can capitalize on a couple key bites today and all of our deep fish just didn't turn out. So uh, we ended up doing a dock pattern, which normally for me is 12 to 13 pounds. So um, at least we got, Bobby got a nice three pound kicker right at the end of the day. Kicker three, at the end. Three, three on a shatter bait, but uh, uh, along with this nice three, uh, four, kind of helped us have a decent day and uh, gonna go home now. Let him go. Great weekend. Big whopper. Ready? Yep. Thirteen, thirteen. All right. Got it. You have a big one? Yeah, we got a big one. Thank you, sir. All right, ready for big bass? Three twelve. Three twelve. All right. Just for time, Nice bag.